to Jeremy Bullock, the first Mandalorian, the man that gave us a legend. Hey everyone, Jeremy here. Yeah, that uh, Jeremy Bullock news is really sad, but try not to let it color my feelings for this last episode of The Mandalorian. We've all been looking forward to it. We've all been excited for it. So I'm trying to focus on that. Uh, it is just disheartening that we lost we, that we lost him at all, let alone it was the day before this episode. Uh, that said, trying to focus on the episode. Trying to focus on the episode. Uh, this... Every bit of speculation this year has turned out pretty much false at this point, so I'm not quite sure what to expect. I know this last episode, because I'm staring at it right now, is 47 minutes. I'm hoping that we get some resolution. That is the main thing I want out of this episode. I want some resolution while still leaving answers to be had and also maybe asking some new questions. That's kind of what they did at the end of last season, and that's really what I want this season. They can be, it can be a bit more open-ended than last season was. Last season just kind of felt like it was setting up pretty much the entire series to come. Well, this, I'm okay if they leave it a little more open than that. I'm betting we don't get a resolution, a complete resolution to Moff Gideon. I'm sure we're not gonna get a complete resolution to why they want Go Grogu so much. I almost said Gogu. <laughs> Grogu so much. I'm sure we'll, uh, which it might just be the Emperor. I mean, it could be, I just, I don't know. Not for certain. I'm sure we're not going to get a resolution to the Dark Saber unless Bo-Katan shows up because I think that's going to end up being her story. I, I think Thrawn, they're sh saving for uh, Soka series. So yeah, I, I really think the biggest resolution we might get is him getting Grogu back. And quite frankly, I'm kind of okay with that. <gasps> really? They found the cloner. Destroying your planet was a small price to pay to rid the galaxy of terrorism. <laughs> well deserved. Bo! Bo's gonna meet Fett. Oh. Let's just go with all my predictions are wrong. Fett on Mando. Fett on Mando. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, this is so cool. Another happy landing. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I can handle this level of awesome. Oh, that was just dope. And the dope keeps coming. Oh. Yes. <laughs> nice. Uh oh. Uh, not nice. Not, not. Oh, that can't feel good. That is getting your bell rung. Nice. Or... Awesome. Oh, just mowing them down. Is that the first time we've seen a neck snap in live action? <laughs> Knew it. Assume that I know everything, like the fact that your wrist launcher has fired its one and only salvo. Where is this going? And has been blessed with rare properties that have the potential. 
potential to bring order back to the galaxy. Yeah, the Emperor. Okay. Thought so. Knew it. The fact that it's heating up like that. Oh, he's very well trained. Oh, wow. Wow. I was not expecting that. We actually captured him. And got the saber. <laughs> Why don't you kill him now? I knew it. I was sitting here thinking he won it in combat. In order for her to wield the dark saber again, she would need to defeat you in combat. I yield. It's yours. In brief. Oh man. We're being boarded. You're about to face off with the dark troopers. Oh, that's a lot. You had your hands full with one. Moff Gideon is the exact villain you love to hate. Heck, in his case, Don't it might worry. be hate to love. I'm gonna get you out of here. New Republic. Yeah, Grogu, I was thinking the same thing. Next wing. A Jedi in an X wing. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Are you kidding me? Are you? Oh my god! It's him! It's the lightsaber! It's his lightsaber! And the hand and the glove! Oh, my heart can't take this. Oh. I'm seeing my childhood hero in action. A way I've always wanted to. knows it's him <laughs> it's Luke are you a Jedi <sighs> I am he wants your permission he is strong with the force who you belong with. He's one of your kind. I'll see you again. Goodness. It's time to go. <laughs> Your new friend. Ha, 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 ha.
I don't want Luke to take him. <laughs> I don't. Okay, I was about to hit stop, and I noticed there's like 10 more minutes on this, so... Jabba? Jabba no bother. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Bib Fortuna, Fett would like a word. <laughs> Fett's gonna take over. Drop that on it. How do you drop that on us at the very end like that? What is going on? What is happening? I predicted a long time ago that Luke would never show up in this show because it was, you know, too big of a character and they'd have to recast and, you know, it would overshadow the whole show. Plus, Grogu would have to leave and they wouldn't take away baby Yoda from the show because everybody loves him on the show. Again, I said it at the beginning. Whatever we predict, it just does it opposite way. I thought Bobo was going to stay a noble, you know, bounty hunter. No, at the very end, we get the twist of Boba Fett is getting his own series and he's running the underworld at this point, or at least Jabba's section. Okay, let's just, let's just start, start at the beginning. I think we're more or less confirmed at this point that they were wanting the child to clone the emperor. So they were using his cells to probably make a better emperor, which is why it takes Palpatine so long to come back because they couldn't get the cells they needed. I mean, you could also say they were just trying to create their own Dark Jedi or something, but I have a feeling that's really what the end goal was. Fine. I'm not... I, it's still not confirmed, so we can find out. It's something different, but that's got to be where that is going. Loved seeing that the Dark Troopers are just that powerful, that they are, they are Terminators. They're just Terminators. You're not going to take them down with a couple of shots. You have to. Seriously, one is a problem. One is a problem. An entire garrison is going to overwhelm you. Does make me question on whether or not they could use those to take on the New Republic? Because if a garrison of those can take on pretty much all comers, except for one Jedi, I guess, yeah, questionable on if those numbers could, you know, turn the tide. Also, where were they when the First Order was around? I, I'm actually watching Rebels right now where they're doing the Mandalorian arc, and I was sitting here trying to remember, can you give away the Darksaber right about the time when Gideon starts, you know, basically mustache twirling and going, oh, you can't give that away. Because I'm sitting there thinking, wait, doesn't Bo have to win that in combat? I thought Sabine gave it to her. I'm, again, I'm not up to that part again yet. I think you have to win it in combat then he said it there that's the story you have to have the story that goes with the saber if you're just given it it doesn't have the power you need okay so Bo is either going to be trying to get the saber from Mando next year from Den or she's gonna try to put Den in charge and basically try to kind of rule with him you know not make herself ruler but you know make him be ruler say no you're gonna be in charge I'll help you, sort of a situation. Kind of hoping that's the case, um, because that would set up next season so well. But again, every prediction just, they, they, we think they're going right, they're going left. For all I know, next season's going to be nothing but a musical and set on Dagobah. I just pictured dancing and singing trees. I really don't want that to happen. Please don't. Well, then we have to get to the, the, the moment of the whole episode. Luke. Luke shows up. I, okay, you, obviously I was giddy. I was wondering if he was going to be CG though, because 
he had the hood up. At some point, you just knew it was Luke. I mean, I, I called it, but I mean, some people wouldn't necessarily notice that. Uh, like, basically casual fans might not notice that it's Luke. So I could see that being a reveal. But as soon as I saw the lightsaber, I was looking at the belt. I was like, and I saw the glove. I'm going, that that's Luke. So the reason he had the hood up was essentially because they didn't want to CG him the entire time. That was the cheat. But also, it was a nice reveal to everyone that, because even me, I'm sitting there going, they could be tricking us. It could be a big fake out. And it was not. <laughs> it was Luke. I'm a bit 50-50 on the CG. It looked good. But at the same time, I, it still has that uncanny valley sort of situation where I'm looking at him and I'm not quite looking at him. So uh, I'm a little 50-50 on that. I'll have to rewatch. It might grow on me, but... I was really hoping they'd just recast at this point, just make it Sebastian Stan or somebody like that. Somebody that could carry the mantle if we ever need to see Luke again, because quite frankly, I'd love to see Luke again. I'd love to see Han again. I'd love to see Leia again. Doesn't mean you have to CG them in every time. Bring in a new actor, it's fine. They did it for Lando, and they got a great actor to do it. So just do it that way, be respectful. When they, when they made a young Indiana Jones, they didn't CGI Indiana Jones into a teenager's body. But that said, seeing Luke again, uh, I was just overwhelmed. I I really didn't think they'd bring Luke in because I, it meant Grogu was leaving. I, I knew he would have to go with Luke. And if he, and I didn't think they would remove him from the show. I still question whether or not he's going to be fully gone from the show. He might come back. Might, might even come back in the very first episode next year. I don't know. I didn't really think they'd remove him from the show. And I didn't think it would be Luke to remove him. But... But if he was going to leave with somebody, if I was going to be okay with him leaving, which it uh, was absolutely tearing me apart that he was leaving Din, that Din showed his face to him. Oh. And he was crying. He was crying like I was crying. Oh my goodness. But no, if he was going to leave with somebody, if he was ever going to leave Din with somebody, it would have to be Luke. Or maybe Leia. <laughs> Those are the only two people I could picture him leaving with even Ahsoka as much as I absolutely adore Ahsoka she, uh. but if he was truly going to leave it had to be someone that legendary that big it had to be Luke it had to be a Skywalker and that's heartbreaking that is absolutely heartbreaking all right, what did you guys think? Leave your comments below. Are you okay with CG, Luke? Or were you as thrilled to see him as I was, regardless of the CG? Leave those comments below. Are you looking forward to the insane reveal that we are getting a FET series? We are getting a FET series. Also, uh, since Mando is ending for this year, if you have any suggestions for what you'd like to see me do next, leave those in the comments too. I'm planning on doing WandaVision. But if there are other shows or maybe even movies or something like that you'd like to see on the channel, yeah, absolutely leave those below as well as I'll be doing more content as the time goes on while we await more Star Wars. Ah. And if you like this video, please hit like and subscribe to see more content like this. As always, before I go, please take care of yourselves and please take care of each other. Thanks for watching.